Woman moved to North Texas because she wanted to teach children in the inner cities of Dallas and Fort Worth. Her passion was nearly ripped away by a major health crisis, but that led her to a new career. Here's Teresa Woodard. Do you see a little baby in there? Do you see a little baby in there? Oh. Oh. Put it back. She doesn't take a minute. Sorry, I told myself I wasn't going to cry. <laughs> really, not even a moment of motherhood for granted. And just like getting to celebrate every month that I get with him is really special. Seven weeks after Catherine Wolf gave birth to Everett, she had her first, yes, first stroke. She snapped this picture of her sagging face during a stroke that followed. She survived six strokes in a matter of months, and she's only 26 years old. Brain surgery partially corrected a rare blood vessel disorder that was causing Catherine strokes, but not before damage was done. Weeks passed before she held her newborn again and walked again. Talking took even longer. And I said what I thought I said was my name, and <laughs> It was not. It came out Instead jumbled. of Catherine, you said Thrinkinets. I will never forget that. <laughs> the woman who loves words and made a career of them. I was in a sixth grade English teacher. Suddenly didn't know what words to use. Until she came to a Baylor Scott and White Institute for Rehabilitation Center in Fort Worth. Hi. <laughs> Hi. You're going to make me cry. This is a reunion with a speech therapist named Ashley. Bed. Tree. Pencil. Ashley gave Catherine tools to use. I would be able to kind of like talk it out. To find the words that her brain just can't locate like it used to. Oh my gosh, I literally just forgot. It is in the ocean. Seahorse. Therapy worked and had a surprising outcome. Doctors told Catherine because she couldn't focus well and multitask, she really shouldn't teach again. So she's a student again. I think that my new calling is to work with and speak for the people who can't do it on their own. Someone who not long ago struggled with speech is studying to become a speech therapist. I'm so proud of you. Part of me wants to yell at life, come at me. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you can take me out, so come at me again. I dare you, you know, and like, please don't actually. <laughs> Surviving six strokes means she's defied the odds. She's proven she's strong and maybe a little defiant. In Fort Worth, I'm Teresa Woodard.